I'm a fine art natural light photographer. For me, it's all about the quality of the light, and I photograph landscape, flowers, people, mostly in natural light, almost exclusively. The negative is everything, the print is all. The negative is the sheet music, but the print is the symphony. Every decision that I make as a photographer when I click the shutter keeps in mind one thing, that when I am done, it's going to be a print. That every decision, every choice, everything is always in service of the print. Making prints, understanding how the printing process works is key to being a better photographer. I was taught to print first and then to evolve into being a photographer. That understanding the printing process was the most important thing in photography. Well, it's the print that you sell, it's the print that you show, it's the print that will last. Pixels on a screen only last as long as the website that you're looking on, but it's the print that you look at, it's the print that you put on the wall, it's the print that you touch, it's the print that touches you. And for me, it is the print. Everything I do is about the print. So digital cameras made this huge technological leap, and then printers made this even huger technological leap. And when you would look at a photographic print on a photographic type paper off of an Epson printer, you were just floored. I mean, everybody was just absolutely blown away that you could actually do that, that you could get a black that black and a colors that deep. However, my beloved cotton papers, I wanted to see that quality of black and that depth of color on those papers. What evolved was this observation that it's a system, that the ink and the printer and the paper all work in tandem, that it's not just one thing, it's all things. And where we are today is we have a paper that gives me the black and gives me the color that I have always dreamed of on a cotton-based paper. What I love about Cold Press Natural is that I can actually get a black, that I no longer have D-Max Envy. That not only do I not have D-Max Envy, but I have beautiful tonal ranges and tonal changes, and that I have incredible color based on the depth of the black. One of the most powerful aspects of Cold Press Natural is that the tone of the paper looks collectible, that it feels collectible, that it is what is expected of a collectible piece of fine art. One of the things that I really like about this paper is its thickness, that when I hold it, it feels like something, that it feels substantial, that it, it has a weight to it that I am familiar with from my darkroom days using double weight silver based paper. Another thing that I find from a more practical standpoint is that it frames easier and that it sits in my portfolio cases better and that it holds up better because of how thick it is. Well, what does it matter? I mean, it's going to be in a frame, right? Who cares how thick it is? I mean, you're going to put it in frame, put it behind glass, no one cares. Well, you don't buy a print behind a piece of glass in a frame. When you buy a print, it's in your hands. But the fact remains that the sale occurs here. It doesn't occur there. And it's this memory, when you look at it there, that you want to give somebody. I have an image called If I Were a Raindrop, which is probably my most signature image. And for me, it is a poem that I have never really completed. I just revisit all the time. Now, what I have found with cold pressed natural paper is I actually have an image that is exactly what it is that I have dreamed in this print to be. The color, the sharpness, the depth, the black, everything that I have ever wanted. What works for me on this print over the print on the wall, and I think it should be fairly obvious, is the background. Look at the depth of the blacks and the purples and the greens that just come out of this image that don't come out of the print on the back. Also, look at the quality of the yellows and oranges and the detail of the raindrops. When I sign a print, when I put my signature on that piece of paper, what I'm saying with that signature is that this is the best that can be done technologically, that it's the best ink, the best printer, the best paper. So I was asked, well, what image looks better on cold pressed natural paper? And the answer is, well, not one image looks better on cold pressed natural. They all look better on cold pressed natural. The colors that I see, the oranges, the yellows, the blues, the greens are so much better. My black and whites are so much better. The blacks are deeper. The tonal ramp is better. That this is by far the best cotton-based textured paper I have ever printed on.